Hi everyone, welcome to the RP Business Chemistry. Now we have discussed uh, our favorite uh, topic uh, that is coordination chemistry. Okay, in that we are discussing about a uh, problem solving session in acid hydrolysis, base hydrolysis, conjugate base hydrolysis. Overall, so it is called like overall it is named as a hydrolysis of a coordination complexes. Hydro hydrolysis of coordination complexes through the dissociative mechanism. So in this session we are discussing about uh, several like uh, CSIR as well as gate questions. Uh, it is very easier question from this topic. Okay, so it will give it, it gives uh, like a four marks for CSIR, two marks for gate. Where every year it is common question for the CSIR. Okay, now let us look out uh, the problem number one. The correct statement of, about the hydrolysis of cobalt pyridinium four times Cl two plus. So they are given in the one of the complex uh, that is cobalt. Cl Cl. It may be uh, either. Uh, cis complex or trans complex that I didn't mention that's why I would like to take the cis complex okay now here P Y it indicates that is the pyridine that is the pyridine here nitrogen so this is the complex okay now here the nitrogen attached hydrogens are more acidic in nature again that to halogen group attached halogen group opposite attached NH protons are more acidic so if there is any possible for the NH proton then it is uh, participated in the SN1, SN1CB mechanism so let, let us look out before going to that uh, so four options uh, now the rate expression will use the like uh, both the concentration of reactants react uh, reaction does not depends upon OH minus concentration reaction proceeds through the SN1CB intermediate involved in this reaction is uh, like a uh, hepta coordinated okay now let us look out uh, the problem how it is how it is solved so this is the like a uh, December 2019 problem so very recent question last uh, CSIR question December 2019 question okay which is given in the four mark of a CSIR four mark question okay now in this in this particular topic so among the four options which is correct which is correct now let us look out the problem now here cobalt pyridine four times Cl2 so in the presence of OH minus that is basic medium so basic medium water hydrolysis will give the cobalt pyridine four times Cl OH Cl OH generally hydrolysis reactions are dissociative mechanism hydrolysis reactions are dissociative follows the dissociative mechanism now this is the PY4 Cl2 so I think here the plus one okay now here the plus one plus one so the loss of Cl minus it is the very slow step cobalt py four times cl here the plus two here the plus two why because one of the minus will be lost plus one and plus one then it becomes plus two okay the followed by the oh minus attack will use the cobalt pyridinium four times cl oh so this is the dissociative mechanism so now here it is the reactant it is the product it is the intermediate so they are given in the one option regarding to the intermediate so intermediate involved in this reaction cobalt pyridinium four times cl2 oh that is hepta coordinated system okay now hydrolysis reaction Reactions proceeds through the dissociative mechanism. These are the evidences for the dissociative mechanism, but they are given in the hepta coordinated system. This is wrong answer. This is not correct option for our question. Okay. Now let us look out uh, the remaining three problems. Okay. Now here in this session we will discuss the uh, like uh, uh, SN1CB mechanism. So this is the like pyridine. So cobalt attached to nitrogen that is the donor atom from the pyridine. So nitrogen having the its uh, its complete valence that is. Uh, Okay, now here it is the pyridine. It is the pyridine. So the lone pair of pyridine will uh, will form the day two bond with metal atom. Then it becomes uh, like a tetravalent. Like it is a it is a day two bond. Here it is the uh, like a three normal valency. Okay, there is no proton from the nitrogen. Generally, cobalt attached to nitrogen. Yeah, nitrogen protons are acidic that uh, the word protons act as a like a bronzed acid now here they the loss of a proton will use the conjugate base will use the conjugate base if it is possible for the it having the NH proton here there is no NH there is no NH proton that's why it cannot forms the conjugate base if conjugate base is formed then it proceeds through the SN1CV mechanism here it is not here it is not uh, formed the conjugate base that's why here it cannot proceed through the SN1CV CD mechanism. Now let us look out uh, the remaining two options. So now in, in uh, the remaining two reaction does not depends on hydroxide concentration or reaction depends upon both the reactants. Let us look out uh, the same problem. 
Now here, so in previous case we have discussed the cobalt pyridine four times Cl2. So here plus, so it, this is the slow step of cobalt pyridine four times Cl plus 2. So slow step is the rate determining step. Here it is the rate determining step. In this step, rate is always directly proportional to the concentration of reactant. So cobalt pyridine four times Cl2 plus. So this is the reactant. Now the, after the formation of OH minus complex, any like a cobalt pyridine four times like a Cl OH. This is the complex. This is the product. This is the product. Now here OH minus is involved. It is the faster step. Now the slow uh, the rate of uh, any uh, any complex reaction will de de determined by the slow step that is the rate determining step rate uh, determining step in this step only first molecule that is a substrate molecule can only affected on the rate uh, then it is called rate of a reaction okay now here the rate of reaction is dependent on only substrate only substrate not the OH minus concentration so according to the second option like reaction does not depends on the hydroxide concentration so this is closer to the other option whether it is right or wrong let us check the first option so rate expression rate is directly proportional to the k into rate is equal to the k into cobalt P, py four times pyridine four times cl2 plus oh minus okay now according to the our steps now here rate is directly proportional to the cobalt py4 cl2 plus Okay, so here it does not depends on the OH minus concentration, but they are given in the OH minus concentration. So that's why, so one is not our option, second is our option, second is our option. So in this question, we will discuss the another point of view, another point of view. So if you, if you uh, not having the any idea about it follows the dissociative mechanism, let us assume the cobalt NH3 four times, sorry, it is pyridine four times Cl2. Okay, here plus whenever the OH minus will attack over there, then here PY four times Cl2 OH that is the like a neutral complex. Then after the elimination of chloride, so cobalt is PY four times Cl OH. So this is the another formation. This is it follows through the associative mechanism. Okay, so if it is uh, the rate of reaction here, both are dependent the as well, substrate as well as OH minus concentration. Why? Because so both are participated in the first step here. It is the like a simple transition state. Okay, now here it is the single step reaction, but it proceeds through the some of the transition state. Okay, now in this case, uh, uh, substrate as well as OH minus will both are dependent. If it is follows through the associative mechanism, it cannot follow. So, but opinion okay so why it does not follow the associative mechanism now let us check the options okay so intermediate of these reaction involved okay let us assume so here intermediate of this reaction is a seven hepta coordinated so rate of expression cobalt p by four four times uh, like a cl2 so here rate is also possible okay now here reaction proceeds through the sn1cb sn1cb cannot possible if it follows through the associative mechanism these two options are correct but uh, hydrolysis reactions cannot follow the associative mechanism. That's why option number two is correct. This is the clear information regarding to the question number one. So this is a December 2019 question. Very easier question which is given in the like a, every time four marker question common from the this, this area in CSAR. Okay, now let us look down the problem number two. two. The correct statement about the substitution reaction. So here it is given in the December 2015. December 2015 both are same question so this question is copy paste question of uh, 2019 so sorry sorry so it is the copy paste of 2015 okay now the current statement about the substitution reaction this is the complex will give us the product so now here in in, pre in previous case we will discuss the pyridinium now here they are given in the cyanide so both are both reactions follows the same mechanism here Cl minus 3 it gives the cobalt Cn5 okay so like a minus two the loss of a one minus here minus two so then formation of oh minus will give the cobalt cn five times oh here it is the minus three okay it follows the dissociative mechanism it follows the dissociative mechanism as well as a rate of the reaction rate is directly proportional to the cobalt cn five times cl minus three okay here it does not depends upon the concentration of oh minus so here there is no availability of acidic protons that's why it cannot follow through the conjugate based mechanism it cannot follows okay now let us check the option number it will base the first order kinetics undoubtedly it will base the first order kinetics why because here it depends upon only reactant uh, substrate concentration only okay now here it is the 
is possibility. Okay, they are asking about correct statement. That's why option A is correct. So why these three are not correct? Let us check B. So its rate of rate is proportional to the concentration of both the reactants. Okay, so here it uh, the OH minus concentration does not depend on on the rate of reaction. That's why it is it is wrong. Okay, now it follows the SN1Cb mechanism. There is no proton. There is no acidic proton. That's why it is also not possible. Okay, its rate depends on on dependent only on the concentration of OH minus. Its rate dependent only on the concentration of OH minus. So it is very like a silly option. Why? Because so OH minus cannot dependent rather than the substrate concentration. Okay, that is the uh, the worst option according to the, these four. So now the option number A is correct. So this is the problems regarding to the like uh, our CSIR question. Now let us do doubt uh, some of the problems. Okay, now let us solve the uh, some of some of the problems regarding to the our hydrolysis reactions. Okay, now the question number third is consider the following statement with respect to the base hydrolysis. Okay, so now here cobalt NH three five times Cl plus two to cobalt NH three five times OH plus two. Okay, here it is the conversion. So among among the based on that conversion, what is the correct option? What is the correct option? Now here one of the ammonia ligand act as a Bronsted acid. So the entering group is water molecule. The uh, C option C is it is after coordinated species. Okay. Now here uh, I didn't uh, I will miss out. So which is the correct option? Choose the correct options. Choose the correct options. Okay. So either A and B or A and C, B and C, D is C only. Okay. Now the question number four. Uh, so both are uh, similar questions. That's why I would like to make uh, uh, in the same board. Okay. Now here the, for the OH minus catalyzed SN one conjugate base mechanism of the cobalt NH three five times Cl plus two. The species obtained in the first step. So they are uh, asked in direct step. Okay. So now here this is the December two thousand seventeen question. This is uh, December two thousand sixteen question. Okay. Uh, it is a very a common question for the December. Like uh, in CSIR, both are four marker questions. Both are four marker questions. Now let us solve the problems regarding to the uh, these two. Okay. Now they are given in the complex in both the cases. Cobalt NH three five times Cl. Here it is the plus two. So now here in the presence of OH minus in first step in the presence of OH minus. So here cobalt like Cl NH three. This is the like a uh, uh, representation of complex. So chlorine opposite NH Protons are more acidic according to the proton and number data we have discussed. The these topic, all these topics over the like uh, conjugate base mechanism, SN1Cb mechanism. I'll give the link in description box. Okay. Now here OH minus, uh, which is uh, OH minus, will abstract the proton from uh, chlorine opposite NH2, NH3. Then it becomes cobalt NH3. Four times. As usually, it is it having the five, but one of the NH three becomes NH two. Then it having the Cl. Okay. Now here, the one of the position that is that that is that is nothing but here NH three. So here base is used. That is that means here one proton abstracted by the base. Then it becomes NH two minus. So here H two is eliminated. That means here it lost the. 1H plus and creates the negative charge. So here it lost the 1H plus. So here the plus 2. Here it lost the 1 plus and create the negative charge. That means um, here it becomes a plus 1. The complex charge on the first step is plus 1. In second step, uh, cobalt NH3 four times NH2 Cl plus 1. Okay. Now here it is the very slow step that is rate determining step. Here cobalt uh, NH3 four times uh, NH2. Okay, NH two. Here it is the plus two. Last of Cl minus it gives the one plus ion. So this is the second step. Now the final step is cobalt NH three four times NH two. So here in the presence of water molecule, water molecule, not the OH minus. So here in the presence of water molecule, here one H plus uh, attack over there. 
So one of the H plus which is obstructed by the NH2, then it becomes NH3. So as usual, we will get the five moles of NH3. Then here the loss of H plus it gives the OH. So that is attacked over there. Then it uh, then it becomes uh, like a plus two. Why? Because here one plus one minus is added. That's why there is no change of the charge and the complex. Okay. Now these are, these are the three steps regarding to the our reaction. So cobalt NH3 5 Cl plus two becomes cobalt NH3 5 OH plus two. So that is the conversion. Okay, now let us think about uh, options. So first question, that is a uh, third question. One of the ammonia ligand act as a brown state acid. So when whenever it is called acid, whenever the uh, like uh, it gives the a substance which gives the proton, then it is called brown state acid. Now here in in the first case, one of the ligand will give the proton, then it becomes NH2 minus. So here loss of the proton. Okay. So that proton which is abstracted by the OH minus then it becomes it is eliminated as water molecule. So here one of the ammonia ligand will act as a will act as a Bronsted acid. Absolutely it is correct. Okay. So option A is correct. Okay. Now let us think about. So uh, again it may be possible in future questions. Okay. So among the five NH3 which is more Bronsted acid when compared to the other four ammonias that is trans to the leaving group is more acidic in nature. So that means more Bronsted acid. Okay. More more bronsted acid okay that is the it may be possible to ask the question in the future future like a competitive exams now the second one the entering group is water or OH minus that is the maybe like a, a many of the students they have struggled with a, whether it is OH minus or H2O so we will get the OH minus that's why so here entering group is OH minus that is absolutely wrong so now here the entering group is water so this group one of the proton uh, which is uh, here uh, one of the proton from water molecule which is uh, abstracted by the NH2 minus then it becomes NH3 as usually we will get the NH3 5 so OH minus attack over there so here entering group is water but we will get the OH minus in complex okay so B is also correct now the C option number C a hepta coordinated that means the intermediate is hepta that means a seven membered coordination now here in this case uh, so this is the red, red determining step uh, here this is the intermediate uh, so intermediate is a five coordinated system not the hepta so if a uh, loss of the coordination number then it follows the dissociative mechanism so we are already discussed uh, uh, like hydrolysis reactions are the evidences for the dissociative mechanism that's why it fo follows the dissociative mechanism so C is wrong okay let us eliminate the options we don't know these two whether it is right or wrong let us assume that so these these two are we don't know so we know that uh, see so like hydrolysis reaction now will be possible to form the like associative mechanism that means it cannot form the hepta coordinated system so c is wrong so d is wrong so again c having the c option okay it is also wrong now b having the c option it is also wrong so the remaining one is correct option okay so it is very easier method we know the simple concept okay so if we know the complete concept that's why a and b is correct option so, so a is our option a is our option so here capital a here it is the small a now let us think about a fourth question for oh minus catalyzed sn1 SN1 conjugate based mechanism of the like our complex the species obtained in the first step okay now here in this in this case first step we will get the cobalt NH3 four times NH2 Cl plus one cobalt NH3 here OH it is wrong so cobalt NH3 four NH2 it is the this is called conjugate based complex this is called conjugate based complex so B is correct option B is correct option C is wrong it is the intermediate so D is the wrong it is the product okay now uh, it is not the product uh, it is possible it it may be assumed they are assumed it it proceeds through the hepta coordinated system so this is absolutely wrong so c is wrong a is wrong our option is b only okay now let us solve the some of the problems Now let us solve the another interesting problem in our conjugate based mechanism. So they are given in the two complexes that is a cobalt tetran NH3Cl plus two complex. So uh, it having the two isomers, not the two complexes. One of the complex will use the two isomer. One is uh, like uh, well, after that uh, after the completion of question we will go through the complete analysis of the problem. So the isomers A and B will use the will undergo the base hydrolysis. It gives the trigonal bipyramidal intermediate. So they are given in the information it undergoes the trigonal by base hydrolysis as well as gives the trigonal bipyramidal so trigonal 
bipermetal that indicates coordination number is 5 okay it uh, so the coordination number 6 to 5 that uh, that means uh, it undergoes the dissociative mechanism so then the correct statement uh, 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 correct statement is so a reacts faster than b both will gives the uh, mixture of products now the second b reacts faster than a both will gives the mixture of products now c a reacts faster than b but b only gives the mixture of products d so b is faster than b reacts faster than a but uh, a results in mixture of products now among the four which is correct option okay now i'll solve the these particular problem in our conjugate based mechanism uh, video so i'll give the that link uh, that uh, video link also in our description box okay now if you if you want the more clarification about this problem please watch that watch that video okay now here so this is the cobalt tetrany and h3cl complex uh, one is a red isomer another one is a purple isomer this is a red isomer this is a purple isomer okay so now here in this case uh, red isomer having the trans trans to leaving a group of proton so trans to leaving a group of proton will use the like uh, first of all it forms the conjugate base okay as general base hydrolysis it forms the conjugate base so then here it creates the conjugate base then after that uh, the elimination of a uh, like a cl molecule it gives the this type of penta coordinated system this type of penta coordinated system in h2 and h2 here and h only here in h2 okay so this is the complex this is the penta coordinated system so here only one possibility to attack the our water molecule it it is only possibility why because here the vacant site is only sixth one that's why here gives the oh here it gives the oh now here oh here h then it becomes also like any h2 okay so this is the retention of the configuration retention of the configuration in our second case that is purple isomer so here the chlorine that having the uh, that uh, that trans to chlorine group uh, does not having the any acidic proton does not having the any acidic proton that's why so one of the cis proton is eliminated now here it it forms this type of conjugate base so after that so here the, the due to the unavailability of a trans proton here the rate of reaction is lesser so generally a is 10 to the power four times faster than b a is 10 to the 4 times or 10 to the power 4 times faster than B. Due to that, here the loss of uh, like uh, unavailability of NH which is a trans to the leaving group. Okay, so that is the main criteria. Now, however, uh, the adjacent like a uh, sin, uh, sin proton elimination will use the like a uh, conjugate base complex. Uh, so it forms the here also it forms the tetra coordinated system. So now here NH3. So it may be like this. So here it is the NH3 nitrogen, NH2 here NH, NH2. This is the complex. Okay. So now here, whenever the OH minus attack, so H plus will will give the proton, then it forms the NH2. Okay, over here. Now the OH minus attack either may be possible for over the like a right side attack or it may be possible for the this side attack. Okay. Now if it goes through the A, that means here similar to the our product A. Okay, A will gives the 85% of product, B is also possible. So B will give the 15% of product. So due to that, here B gives the mixture of isomers, but A gives the only retention configuration. Now let us look at another time our problems. Now A reacts faster than B. So that is absolutely correct. It is the maybe our option. But both results in mixture of products. Here B only results in the mixture of product. That's why it is wrong. Now let us go through the option number B. B is B reacts faster than A. It is meaningless. Why? Because there is no uh, no proton which is trans to the leaving group. That's why here lesser reactivity. Now let us go through this problem as uh, option number C. Here A reacts faster than B. Absolutely right. Again B reacts in mixture of the product. Absolutely right. So here gives the like 85% of the first product which is uh, equal to the first product, but it gives the 15% of another isomer that is the mixture of product. So C is our option. Uh, let us look out at the final option so b is reacts faster than a so it is wrong don't go for the a results in mixer or it doesn't matter okay now our option number c is correct this is given in the 2018 december 4 marker okay now i'll, I'll discuss the problems so 2016 december 2000 like a uh, 17 december 2018 december 2019 december again i'll solve the another problem 2015 december Okay, so every time December 15, it having the like a uh, conjugate base mechanism. It is uh, unfortunately I got the 
like a uh, like a concept 2015 2016 2017 2018 2019 every time they are going in the conjugate based mechanism problem for four market in csr okay so in this video i'll end it that uh, these, these five problems only so if it is possible i'll make the another video on that uh, hydrolysis reactions okay so this is the overall idea about uh, our conjugate based mechanism problems okay thank you for watching